For breakfast, we're gonna have some yogurt today. Look at this homemade creamy yogurt right here. For the recipe, it's on my website. Go get it, it's so simple, I promise you. I got my yogurt in here, and I'm just going to put some banana slices in there, and then blackberries, lay them in there, and maybe just crush one of them so the juice will get in. And I got some walnuts over here. You can just crush it. You can toast it or not, up to you. And then we're gonna finish with drizzles of honey. Right, just look how beautiful, healthy and delicious that breakfast look. They say, happy kids, happy wife, happy life, right? And for lunch, we're going to make a super simple roasted butternut squash salad that will go with some greens and a soft boiled egg. So take a look. There's a spike underneath of the hangar. Push it in and now you can slice the squash with a little bit of ease. And we're going to toss the sliced squash in olive oil, salt and chili. Simple, straightforward. Couple of tablespoon. Look, very simple. Slice squash, olive oil, salt, a little bit of chili, right into 500 degree oven. We want to bake it nice and fast so it doesn't get overcooked. Amazing. So this was in the oven for eight minutes in 500 degree oven. It's just tender to the touch. It's not falling apart and overcooked. And then we're gonna pop this under the broiler to get a little bit of color, just like that. Look at that nice char. This was under the broiler for merely a minute. It's okay if you have a piece that's burned. It happens, that's cooking. But just look how beautiful and delicious they look. The next thing I wanna show you is to make soft boiled egg. Get your eggs out 30 minutes before you wanna cook them. Bring a pot of water to a boil and cook the eggs for six minutes and take them straight to a cold water bath. And I understand it's nearly impossible to plan everything accordingly because that's just the reality of home cooking. But that's okay, just cook the eggs a little longer, say six minutes and a half. The most important part is to cool it in cold water right after. Right, the eggs are done. Just let it hang out in cold water while you prepare your salad dressing and the rest of the ingredients. I promise you, the salad will be done in just a minute. Right, basic vinaigrette. We've done this a few times. As a reminder, the ratio is always three parts of EVO to one part of vinegar or lemon juice with a pinch of salt. And now, we're just going to shake it up. That's it. Okay, well, let's take a look. We got some roasted squash. We got some baby kale and baby arugula. Six minutes soft boiled egg. Some crumbled white cheese lemon vinaigrette, and toasted flatbread. So, let's plate it up. I got some vinaigrette into the greens. And then toss it and place in the center of the plate. Actually, followed by, I have a little bit of a toasted sunflower seeds to give it a crunch. And then sprinkle with crumbled white cheese. And then I have my egg right on top of the salad. And when we break it, it's gonna ooze everywhere. And we're going to serve flatbread on the side to mop up the sauce at the end. Now, give it a go. Your kids might like it. And for my dandan dan sauce, I got vinegar, soy sauce, sesame oil, mirin, sugar, MSG, and tahini but you can use peanut butter for this recipe. And it's very simple. We're just going to add everything in the container once and then stir it up. Right, this is the sauce, looking nice. And don't worry about the spackles on the top. They will disappear once mixed into the noodles. And notice, I didn't add any chili in this recipe because I want to keep it mild and people can add it separately 
if they want it a little bit of heat. Right here, I have three quarter pounds of ground pork with some grated garlic, grated ginger, salt, soy sauce, and mirin. And we're going to mix it up and marinate the pork for 10 minutes. Traditionally in Dan Dan noodles, ground pork is cooked with some pickled veggies. But today I'm going to go off the script and cook with some fresh aromatics like carrots, onion, garlic, and scallions. For the pork, I got some scallions, uh, chopped onions, and I'm going to grate one carrot. Right, at this point, add your spices, chili, white pepper, black pepper, or Szechuan peppercorn, whatever you want. I'm going to add a little bit of Szechuan peppercorn just because it's traditional. Right, after your pork is fully cooked, turn off the heat, add your scallion, stir it in, and now you have a beautiful ground pork to go with the dan dan noodles. I like the depth, the soy sauce, spices that goes into this, the ground pork, but I also like the freshness of the aromatics. So at the end, I'm grating some raw garlic, adding some fresh scallions, just to brighten up the flavor. Look at the meat sauce, looking good. And one tip for keeping the meat sauce nice and moist is to take some of your noodle water, just like a pasta water, ladle or scoop in there and stir it up. Right, I'm just using any dry noodles that I could find in my pantry. You can even use spaghetti for this dish. Anything goes. Right, let's refresh our memories. I like to rinse the noodles with cold water after they've been cooked just to get rid of the excess starch. So once we stir in the sauces, they won't clump up together. All right, let's take a look what we have here. Got the noodles, sauce, cilantro, scallion, roasted peanuts, chili oil, and ground pork. So the way we're going to play this is to have the sauce at the bottom, noodles on the top, and finish with the garnish. The ground pork, scallion, cilantro, peanuts, and chili oil if you want. And to finish, I like chili oil on top of mine, but it's up to you. All right, enjoy. Look at that Don Don noodles. Amazing, so delicious. The sauce is at the bottom. You gotta stir it up. And if you're feeding this to your kids, just skip the chili oil. I promise they will love it. Look at that. How do you not like Don Don noodles? Amazing, saucy, vibrant, fresh, lovely.